this is today's task um, it's just a simple uh, radius equation um, but they want it to start with a radius of 5 jump up to 10s and um, so you're doing like basically a radius of 5 6 7 8 9 10 and the, uh, the, the user said how do I create this type of loop well this is a, a perfect opportunity to talk about two different types of loop so we have count controlled loops and we have conditional loops uh, a conditional loop um, works while the condition um, is valid um, and then you have to change the condition for it to stop and a count controlled loop is run a fixed number of times so in this example because we're going from 5 to 10 we know it's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 then a count control loop is perfect because we know how many times uh, it's going to change but you could do it with a conditional loop and I will show you uh, both examples so this is a, a count controlled loop so I'm using a for loop, starting at 5, the radius, starting at 5, going to 10, increasing by 1. Notice with the count control loop, we don't need to change the condition. It's done automatically by the for loop. So there's no need to have anything here to increase the radius. Um, run it. And then we get our answer. So there's our 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And if we look at the other version. Okay, so this would be the same, but using a while loop. So this time we set the variable to start off with a 5, we set the condition, while r is less than 10, we do the same calculation, but this time we need to change the condition. So the condition is changed here, once r gets to 10, then it will stop. So if we run that one, we'll get exactly the same answers, it's just two different ways of solving the same problem. Um, it's up to you to decide which is the best way. But if I just reiterate, as I would do to my students, you use a count controlled loop when you know how many times something's going to run. You use a while loop or a conditional loop when you're running something until a condition changes. So in, in effect, this is a count controlled loop using a while loop to force it to be count controlled. So really, the better way of doing this algorithm would be to use a for loop, a count controlled loop. Hope that helps. If it does, um, like and subscribe or buy me a coffee.